Animation to me is all about getting out of the world of reality and going into the deep imaginative worlds of our minds. My name is Opie and I'm a senior animator working in the video games industry. I've worked on a range of AAA titles from Heavenly Sword, Motorstorm Apocalypse, Harry Potter, The Bourne Conspiracy and a series of Lego games. And this class is really exciting for me because this is the whole point I got into animation, is to get out of that world of reality and do all these squash and stretch and cartoony animations which we'll be going through in this cartoon series. I'm so excited to go through all these. You have to check out the Pro Regs. I'll be using Pro Regs, which are absolutely brilliant. They have a custom design for cartoon animation, squats and stretch, and we're gonna be having a lot of fun with these rigs in the coming classes. So it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're experienced, we can all learn something from each other. And I hope these classes will introduce some new techniques some new thought processes and workflows that you can kind of incorporate into your work. This class will cover a cartoony walk. We will go through the contact poses, mid poses, and the end poses and in between poses, and we will make it look as cartoony as we can. This class will show how you can use the same principles for realism and cartoony animation and how we can apply it to cartoony stuff, which we're going to be doing in this series of classes. So I'm super excited for you to join me in this step-by-step -step course on how to do a cartoony walk, get your Maya, Blender, Max, whatever you use, and let's start animating. I'll see you at the end of this class. Here we go, let's start animating. Okay guys, this is a quick video of where you can get your rigs from. So I'm using these rigs now, there is a fee to this, it's $20 a month, which is about 16 time off. But for that much, and the characters you're getting, look at all the characters you're getting. You're getting all of these characters with the right support. You even get pickers, like for the rig. You get the scripts, everything, license. It's well worth it. All of these characters look heavy, light, athletic, bigger, you know, fatter characters robots it's definitely worth it i i'm going to be animating with these now you know they're feature film rigs so they're really good to invest in 16 pound a month 20 dollars a month is nothing really you got you get all the support you want you can cancel the subscription when you want all right guys so this is a quick video where you can get the rigs or you can just go to free rigs and use any other rig but i just thought you want to animate along with a similar rig you can go and get these rigs so great rigs and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the course. Okay guys, so first thing we're gonna do is get the reference. So I've done some research on Google. So we're gonna follow this, get some reference here. And we're gonna use these poses to start us off. So let's get this going. And let me just start with this. Okay, first thing we want to do is let's check out the legs. Let's separate these legs like this so we know which one's forward, which one's back. Okay. All right, now in the side view, what we'll do, let's have a look uh, which one. No, it's not that one. Foot roll, I think it's this one. Yeah, so what we want to do, we want to... We want to establish our contact points. So let's let's move this back. And I'm going to put everything in. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select everything. And then put it in constant. So it's all blocked. So it's step, step. Yeah, it's all stepped. Okay. Now, I just want to grab the control. And with the foot roll, I just want to make sure it's all in line here. So this bit, it's all that straight, this bit in particular. You, you'll see when you rotate this, it goes a bit off. So you just want to make sure it's lined up. So that's what we'll do for now. So we're establishing the contact points, front and back. So front one as well. So we'll do the same thing here. We're like, all right, how's that look? Maybe we want to move it forward a bit and then it's not bad, something like that. And we might want to move this up a bit. So we can get away with uh, moving it up a bit because it's got a stretch on it. A really lovely, lovely model, this one. And like this. So we'll start with that. That's the basis, right? 
Okay, also what we'll do with the rig, as we can see here, we'll just quickly change this to zero. So it's FK and zero here. So that's FK. So we've got, we've basically got rotations everywhere. And I'll just put the timeline to 20. So we're working clean, 20, you know, every two frames. Every two frames is what we'll do, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll key. So let me select everything, and like I usually do, I key first frame. Now, the other thing I want to do is, while I'm here, is we all contact, is it contact, yeah. Okay, that's it, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll go to the next one, the next, so frame two. And what we're doing, we're just literally, if you look at the reference, we're just gonna move it forward until this back leg is bent or it's coming down. So what we'll do, we'll, we know that the foot is gonna be on the floor. So there, the foot's on the floor. We also know that it's gonna be trans, transcending down forward going to go down so there's a little bend there and we also know that the back leg is just starting to come up so it'll be like this slightly forward and a bit of a foot roll we kind of do it like that and again select everything I'll key it and then I'll just go into here and go to block so we want to make sure it's all blocked then the next one next frame is the passing position so this one is going to be we just want to make sure that this leg is straight going up and then the passing position like this which would be even we could even rotate this a bit more could have it go past a little like this and then we're going to key everything and then move on. So we've got all these poses. Just select everything, make sure it's all constant. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. And then it's gonna be the high position. So this one is going forward the highest. And then the reference shows the foot going forward. So it's kind of going like this forward there there and then there's going to be basically this height so normally what i do is i'll go to here y and copy this go to nine and copy it there i know that's the height now just move it forward slightly and then move this forward the Y can be zeroed because it's on the floor. And then you make the foot in the contact position. Like this. That, that's flowing pretty well. So we'll select everything, key everything, and then put it on constant interpolation all I'm doing is I'm selecting everything then I'm going into my graph editor selecting all the keys and going to constant here or you can go to tangents stepped same thing that's all I'm doing when I'm going onto that screen I'm just making sure step there and then the next one Oh, so yeah, the back one. Let's also do the back one. The back. So this is going to start rolling as well. As this one comes in. Just, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And then what you want to do, again, go to the second pose here. The Y is 1.8. So we go to here. 
just paste it in there. Oops. Sorry, select the hips. Paste it in there. Sorry, let me just do that again. Why? That's what we want. 1.8. And then there we want to put it in. There, move it forward. So we know that it's going to take the weight. Take the weight. And then the back leg is just about rolling up. So we'll roll this up. Come it up a little bit. And we can make these clunky, you know, like you could see this clunky. I'm going to town later with them. So it's contact. Then again, passing position. Bit high. Leg comes through. Just a little bit like that. We could sort out the exact height after, but we're just getting these these poses in and then passing position which is going to be the highest so a bit higher and then this foot comes forward and it's just rotated there so you're getting that again select everything make sure we key it now the end one what we're going to do here is i'm gonna there's different ways of doing this, but this is what works for me. I get all the geometry, go to the start frame, duplicate. You see it's duplicated. Then I press Shift P to bring it out of the group and then group. Now you've got a separate pose, the exact pose. So what I do here is I go to the end. So here, 15. All right, the next two frames, I know. Okay, I know this foot is here. So I know that. If I put this geometry here, then I'm, I can match it now. It's, it's going to be fairly exact, but we can always finesse it after. So let's go back. Okay, I'll select all of the controls here. Make sure it's all keyed. Now I'll middle click, drag it to 17, let go and press S. Now it's going to copy that same frame, see? Now all you've got to do is select the feet and the top here the hips and move it forward that's all you got to do and then i might just go into wire wireframe is the best because then you can get exact match you know it's exact like that when there's no doubling if it's not exact it won't be completely over it'll be like this like this like that see where well, you want it exact so it's right there. okay now that you've got that you can go back you can delete the group and select everything and just step and then now have a look at that blocking okay so you've got a little cycle there now with all the foot positions in the right place there you go and then what we can do is we can just do 17 here, 17 at the bottom here. Right, okay, so you've got a block in there of the hips, how it's moving. And you can even look, you see the hips there? It's going constantly forward, forward, forward. And then we'll go and clean this up and get it all working properly. But what we'll do now is we'll go in the front view and we'll be like, all right. As he steps and then leans, what's happening here? The weight is shifting. So we want to just want to get those X's in. So this way, the weight's shifting. It's going to be a bit clunky. And in this way, the weight's shifting. Because we know it's the step. Right? So if we look at this now, it's going to be a bit all over the place. But that's how it, but that's how it looks, you see? Just uh, block, do it like this. So we've got that working. And then the other thing we want to start doing is if we go into the hip controller here, so whenever the foot is raised, 
we know we know that the hip will be high because when you're raising that foot it goes high right same with this way high so we're just going to get these rotations in so we got an idea and then we can clean that up later too all right guys so that's basically the block we could do the arms and stuff later but that is the blocking you're getting in actually i'll select the arms come here in the layers and you can go through arms see i'm selecting the arms here it's really nicely done everything so it knows that you know pro rigs is really good it knows animators want to hide the arms sometimes because we're working on one thing but there you go see that we can start working on just the torso and everything make sure that's working properly the other thing we can do is when it steps here we know that there's going to be that c shape Right there, and then when we come here, we know that this way there's a shape, C shape like this reversal that happens. The hips we can leave the hips for now, but let's see. Okay, that way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got that happening. So that's that's the mechanics. Pretty much how we want it. That's fine. And then we can start cleaning up. So in, so that's the blocking done. We'll move on to uh, polishing, getting into the spline, and starting to really clean things up a bit. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. guys so we're gonna start splining now so I'll just select the controller the cog see the first thing we're gonna do okay so if we look here we want to get the Y transition going constant going forward so normally what I do I delete everything in the middle and then I linear do linear so if we look now it's constantly going forward so what we'll, what we'll do we'll just select everything and let's just spline everything. It's going to be all over the place, but don't worry, man. We'll figure it out. So if we look now, spline everything. Okay, and this as well. Everything is blind. Okay. We start flattening some of this stuff. Okay, let's come back here. There's some stuff which is still all right. Let's just do spline. Let's select everything again. Let's select the top bit, all of this spline. Okay. Ah, that's better. So you see how that's more constant. So if we look at the front, we need to sort all this out. That's fine. Let's check this control. Okay, we can sort that out. All right, first thing we're going to do, if we go in it, we made it constant going forward. Now let's check this out. You see this? You've got all these keys there that you don't need. So oh, let's go here. Y is fine, we need that. Okay, then here we can just delete, delete all of these. I remember when we're doing a cycle, remember we have to match tangents. So if we match like this, so the cycle, we'll do these as we go, always matching tangents. So you press, press this for cycle, cycle, or you can go here, curves, cycle, post-finity cycle, either one. You don't want to do post-finity, you want to do normal cycle on the spot, so it's these ones. Okay, and then let's look at the up and down. So we cycle this, and we just want to match these ends. So they're nice, right? So we want the high values 
to be the same. So we can flatten this out now. Flat, I flatten it by pressing Alt 4. That's my shortcut. You can use this flat, this one. But I have shortcuts. I'll leave a script for you guys so you can check that out. Okay, so that's down and then down. So this is going to be the same, which I think it is. Yeah, that's the same. This is the up, which is cool. This will be the same as this one or not. Yeah, 6.4, 6.4, yeah, that's the one. So we've got equal distribution there, right? This and these are the same. Okay, so now the up and downs are very, very much the same. Now, X is fine too, that's shifting weight. Just flatten these out, we could just add. So if we take this without the minus, put it at the top, I think it's the same, yeah, that's the same. So that's cool, we've got that working. And now what we want to do is we can get, we'll get this bit here, this hips here. So coming back here, you can see it's all clunky, up, up, up. And that, if we go to, normally I go here, channel, and I know, okay, this is, it's gonna, I'm going to be working in this. Sorry, this controller. Yeah, it's going to be that. Same thing here, just like the, just like the X, you want to delete, basically delete all of these. Delete this one, delete this. So you want to have this cycle. Also, if you come here, you might want to flatten this, use this value, 7, and add it here. But remember, leave the minus there, so it's rotating equally. Then we can always adjust if it's too much or too little. That seems fine to me. And then you have these ones, which is the same. Same thing you're doing, you're deleting. You're just keeping the the positions here and here that was switching that's all you're doing and then you just add a cycle there cycle here 6.9 we'll just change this to 6.9 so it's both equal there so if we look now it's just the top one now you see it's a bit rocking it's rocking because of all these all these curves there. So we just want to delete these, cycle. Again, flatten, or flatten here, flatten. Check out the value, 5.3. Copy that over. So it's both happening equally. So if we look now, see there's that slight little bend you got. And it's starting to walk now more fluently, right? So you've got that happening and now what we'll do is we'll work on the feet so we've got the body working well yeah we can always change that a bit more if we wanted to but that's how we can exaggerate a bit more now if we select the feet so if we go for this foot we can look here straight away this foot's going up here which is fine we can flatten this so it's coming up but look when we get to the top here this bit here you see this overshoot? So if we come here, that represents this bit. You see how it's going forward and back, forward and then back? So all you're doing is flattening that. So now it's solid. The only thing is, is an up and down. So if we go back to an up and down, same thing there. You just want to flatten it. So it's solid now, see? And then you want to look at the other axis just in case. They seem fine, rotations are fine. And then look at the foot roll, that seems fine. So that is a solid plant, solid there, see? But you see, there's a little bit of movement at the back there, that's to do with this. So what we wanna do, we wanna get that end frame, copy it, because the end frames and the start frames are the same. And we wanna put in all these keyframes that are flat. 
because that's where we want the foot. So if we just flatten this, see that will stay there, it will stay locked. And the same thing, foot roll. Foot roll is fine, this seems fine. We'll just cycle that and just try and match. We can even get rid of that one and just match this, try and match it there. And now what we can do is go to the other one and do the same thing. So if we look at the foot here, at the start, you can see that is sliding there, there. And that's because of this, it's raised a bit. So we just flatten this. So all of this is flat now. Values are the same. And there must be one there, massive overshoot there. See, that's what's now. If you look there, it's all running smoothly. And now, if we go to the foot control, you see this. You see that slight movement there? It's because of these overshoots. That's what happens when you spline, just little overshoots. That's all it is. You just check if the mic was on there. There, so now you've got solid feet and a solid. Uh, mechanics working even here if we come here you could even go full like this to get that little flop 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 right you go a bit more extreme you could play around but or you can just leave it Leave it kind of straight like that. And if you look at the foot here, that's fine. That's all you're doing. Just there you go. You've got a solid. So that's a solid. Uh, you know, walk there. Basis. Now what you can do here is you can start to play around and maybe select all these keys. Press R for for scaling. Go to the point here. You want to go to the middle. You don't want to go up here and scale because look, it scales from that point. If you scale in the middle here, it will scale the whole. See, then you can start playing around. And then we can slowly start offsetting that. So what I'll do with the bottom one, I'll scale that a bit. But I won't scale it as much as the top one. So I'll just scale it a little bit. Whereas the top one was scaled a bit more. So there. So you're getting that bit of a weight shift happening as well. And then we'll start working on the arms and legs. So now you've got that working and you're happy with it. Now, then what we'll do with the next one, we'll start working on the arms. And then we'll break it down working on the head arms and heads we'll do next because you've got you've got a nice mechanic you know you know the hips are working well and then we'll start adding in the polishing we'll add the face and all that kind of stuff okay guys so that's splining just quickly so you're getting that walk all solid and all the arcs moving all smoothly i'll see you in the next video Okay, so let's unhide the arms. So let's get this, let's check this out. So that's the walk. Okay, and the front. Okay, so what we can do now is maybe as the character comes up, is also rotating in Y here that's it so in Y here we're going to be rotating with the leading leg so it's going to be like that right we'll use the whole body or what we can do so we use let's use yeah we'll use that so we use the hips rotate 
in let's say 10 and then let's go to the end and press 10 in y here as well because the front start and end poses are the same right then the middle one will be minus 10 because it's going in the opposing way okay and then again we'll go into our we could do this later but i thought let's get it done now we'll delete all these redundant in the between keys there flatten that cycle so that's just the process so then it looks a bit more cartoony okay now what you want to do is this upper because it's opposing we want to have this go the other way right so let's do minus minus 15 come back here minus 15 and the middle will do 15 and then go back into here and you can see it's all messed up Let's delete those cycle flatten so it's all a nice cycle when i do flatten i do i i've got a short key called alt f as my short key so i'll show you what i mean if you go to your hotkeys here there's a there's a video on this on my other courses which shows you so if i go to custom here i've made custom keys so splining is os i'll do a video on this a uh, separate one but there you see there's an opposing kind of a walk and even the twist is happening nicely now isn't it there's a little twist going on so we've got that happening so we'll leave that for now it's a nice little thing working there and then what we'll do we'll get the arms and the first thing we'll do is let's go to the channel box here let's bring the arms down so let's bring them down enough so they don't intersect right so let's bring them as the furthest we can go around there which is what minus 70 i would say yeah, minus 70, not getting in the way of anything. You know what, let's do minus 68, so it's out a bit. And then on the same on the other side, we'll do minus 68. So we've got something like that. Oh, it's, you, the reason why it's come up is because all these keys are on it. So we can just go in here, highlight delete the keys and copy to the end so we've got it moving like this okay now we want to do them opposing so what we'll do let's exaggerate let's have a bit of fun let's exaggerate so this leg is forward which means we'll have this back like that and this leg we'll have it let's check out the rotation here 32 right so let's round it 30 and this is going to be minus 30 yeah going forward okay again copy the first to the last so it's all the same and then we're going to go to middle here passing position and we want to do this 30 and we want to do this minus 30 because it's opposing ways right minus 30 and then we'll just see how that plays is it cutting through there yeah it is cutting through there isn't it there so now that we know that's happening what i do is wherever is happening there i'll just come in here i'll just flatten this and cycle i know that this is causing it so what i need to do is just move it up select them both press shift middle mouse button up just get it out so at least you know and then the same on the other side so we get is it cutting through there there so if we just flatten this out and cycle you see how I'm doing this as I'm going as well. Okay, so we want to do rotate. And I want it to be intersecting anyway, what that 
negative space, right? Okay, so we've got that going, which is fine, you know, it's cool. Now what we'll do, we'll add, so what we'll do, we'll come here, number two, we'll add, again, we'll delete all of these in between keys because we don't need them. So as it's coming back, we know the arm will be dragging. So we'll just make the arm go back. Right, like this. Now that's exaggerated, <coughs> but that's cool. Not to worry, we don't mind a bit of exaggeration. I'll put in the middle there, yeah, let's move, move the key back. And then what we can do is cycle that. And if we select everything, move it one frame, it'll just create a bit more looseness. Can you see it there? Then we can start moving it down. Move it down more if you want, if you think it's too much. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can do the same on the other side. Select all the in-between keys. Come to nine. here and just move it back let's flatten that cycle let's have a look actually you know what this one will be forward and this will be back it's the other way right but now what we'll do we'll just tone this down as well so we'll come here Bring it down, let's bring it down a little bit like this and let's have a look. So this, if we look at the start here, that's fine. That's fine too. Is that going back more? I think it is. I think it is. Let's check this out. Let's make it go back a little bit more. Yeah? So there, there. Let's have it a bit funny. We don't mind a bit of fun. Now the other thing you can start doing is if you really want to start dragging the fingers more so this control is for spinning so we're not going to really use that what we can do is you see these so we've got these controls here these are all for the fingers so you've got this one so let's select that 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 and that and that and that and that We've got all of these selected. Now, again, delete everything in here. Just checking if my mic was working there. Seems to be all right. So what we can do, we know here, we can just rotate. Okay, that's not gonna work. So what we need to do, let's select these first. This one. This one and this one. What's this one? Okay, it goes all the way back. All right, so there's four controls there. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's concentrate on these first. We can do the other one after. So if we delete... Oh, if we delete these and <coughs> sorry excuse me so we know when it comes back here we know we want to add a bit more drag to the fingers that's cool for me and then if we come here we know it's going to go forward a bit so we just copy that now if we look now there's a little bit of that drag right 
Now, if we go into the graph editor, we'll just flatten this all out. Now, what we want to do is we want to offset. So we'll leave the first one how it is. The second one, all right, let me undo it. So I've selected everything again. Let me cycle everything. You have to cycle this for it to work. Let's go to the third one and go move it one. All right, so we will offset that by one. We will offset this by two. Now we're going to offset the last one to three by three. So you see, it's going to create that kind of drag. We'll do the same with this top one here. So we're going to move that by one. Move the second one by two. One, two. I'm pressing shift and middle button. So I'm selecting everything, then shift, and then middle mouse button, and then moving it across. One, two, three is the last one. So it's going to create this kind of wave. See that? <coughs> so you're getting that kind of drag. And then what we'll do, that middle one, the one at the back. Uh oh, hold on, someone's it. Okay, doorbell went there. Anyway, so that last one we select. If we move it here, we'll do the same thing. We'll just rotate it, rotate it back like that. And then at the front, we rotate it forward. And a middle click, save it to the end. So all you do, and then now what you're doing, same thing, you're coming in, same thing. Leave the last one how it is. Again here, flatten everything. I'll flatten it here and cycle. And then move this by one. Flatten everything and cycle. And then you can select all of it and move it by two. And then that one, oh, that one here. One, two, three, flatten, cycle, and then that will create that will create a that drag and if you really want to make it because they're all they're all moving at the same time right and if you really want to offset it a bit more all you do so all the fingers move at different times is select one of these controls so this middle finger here so you've got all of those controls so you've got one two three four you know you've got all four selected because here it's got the names literally all you're doing is selecting everything and moving that maybe one two frames and then get the other control here and move that one, two, three, four frames. So now they're all kind of, if you move it back one, they're all kind of, you can play around with it forward or back one, but you can see there's a bit of a drag happening there. Yeah? So there's a bit of drag. Now, now would you want that on a robot? Probably not, but you know what? It's, just that last minute drag, right? And then if you want to really, when we polish, we can translate them. So it's a little stretch, but we can do that when we get there. But maybe these parts are a bit floppy, you know? We could have a floppy robot. And then basically that's the same you want to do on the other side. So you, so I'll just quickly do it here. So you've seen the process and I'll just quickly select all of these. So I've selected all of these, deleted the inside. <clears throat> Here's cool because we know this is going back, so we know we can just move these back and then basically copy it and then coming forward, copy it like this. So we've just got like a wave. See, now all you want to do, same thing we did on the other one. In matter of fact, I'll do this both together. We'll, we'll get that and we'll get that flatten, cycle, move it by one. Move it by one, one there. Okay, the next one, move it by two, one, two. We're going to flatten, cycle. The next one, move it by three, one, two, three, flatten, cycle. So we've got that, 
happening there, right? And then obviously the other one, which is difficult to find. Let's select these, come back out this way. Same thing, delete everything in the middle. All right, just checking if the mic's on. Be awful shame, huh? Rotate again, rotate it back, copy it, go into the middle, rotate it forward, come back. Ah, now that I've got them all selected, I might as well cycle them all as well, you know. And then same thing here, all you're doing is selecting the one below there, move it one, move this one, one, two, this one, one, two, three. Now, they're all going to be moving the same as you can see, and then we'll do the same thing where we'll get all of these controls and move it by one, and then we'll get these controls, move this by two, one, two, and then at least they're all different now. So if we look now, the timing is slightly different, right? And you've got that happening. So now we've got the arm working how we want it. Or floppity flop, which is cool. Now what we can do is start working on the head. So if we get the controls back, you see you have these controls here that move. That basically you can rotate. Can you rotate? Yeah, you can rotate. So we'll select all of these. Delete. Select the head. Delete. Matter of fact, we could select all of this area here because we all got keys on it. Remember, we we set the keys at the start. And then here, basically, what we can do is we can be like, all right, the head is up here. And then when it lands, two frames after it lands, it comes down and then it goes up and then lands so we can just we can do a little something like this where you're creating you could play around right you could play around or you could have a if we could also try one where maybe it might be better if is in the middle there, right? Like this. That don't work actually. Let's do it like that. Let's move this here. Sorry. Let's keep it like it was originally. So we've got that kind of up and down going on, right? And then we could do the same thing like we did with the ha hands. So let's have a little experiment. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's keep it a bit subtle. So it's slightly moving. Now what you can do here, we can do is we can select all of these keys. Make sure your marker's on zero. Select all the keys, copy, then go and select the next three. Delete the end frame. Come back here, select all the X rotations and you can go to edit, paste and then just cycle that. See, now you've got happening on all. But what you wanna do is, I think each one you do, you just wanna reduce. Reduce a little bit. Next one, you might wanna reduce that a bit more. And then the last one, you might wanna reduce it all the way. Yeah, so each one, it's kind of less and less. See, you can see like a little chain effect. And the other thing I want to do is, if we go back here, you might want to just offset that by one. Then offset this by two. One, two. Make sure it's cycling. And then the last one, one, two, three. So you'll get that looseness. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a looseness there. You know? 
And then if it's too much, doing, doing, doing. So it's a bit of a doing, doing, doing. It's going, what's up, man? What's happening? So whatever it is, you know, just have fun doing it. And you might just want to take them all. So the other thing you can do is just select them all and then come back here and then just go like halfway and just scale it, scale it halfway, just scale it down. Just to make it a bit more subtle. And then if you're not happy with that, you always try and scale it back up. Scale it a little bit more down. That's all right. Yeah, you could play around with that. And then my, we might be like, all right, you know what? Let's play around with, let's also get this bit going as well. The We could do that in the polishing. Okay, that's fine. So you've got a nice, so if you look here now, you've kind of got a nice bubble going on. And you know what? You might, we also need to, can't forget about the head man so that's key down so if we go down this start is up so let's copy that to the end down up down and then up so that adds a little bit of bounce to him right so if we go back to our graph editor we can just play around with this again cycle this so you know you can add more or less and then this one one two three four so let's go back actually let's go and you could choose you could leave it how it is like that that seems that seems a bit cool. So what we'll do, we can just tone this down. Yes, that feels that feels like a bobble head, doesn't it? Bobble head. A little bit of a bobble head. Okay. Now we can do, now we can go to the next video and then we'll do the polishing. We'll polish the antennae, do a bit of the eyes, the jaw, just bring it out a bit and just bring it up a bit, yeah? And then also work a bit more on the feet, have it stop down a bit more with the spacing and timing. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, you guys, we're going to be doing the polishing now. So let's check out. Let's just get let's get this one out of the way. Here. Let's do this. All right. So let's animate this control. Let's go in, in, out, in, out, in, out. Yeah. So let's try and keep this one simple. We'll get this control, this control, this control here. All right, you know what? We'll use this control. This, this. Wait, this one. And this one. You know what? Let's try and rotate this like this. So we rotate that back. This one always goes back. And this bent one. Okay, it's gonna be a bit different. And then that goes back. That one. And then that one. All right, let's see. Oh, 
now what we'll do let's see if this works have it just slightly forward now All right, so what we'll do, we'll select all of these controls. Make sure it's all flat, remember flat cycle, and then we'll start offsetting it. So let's go to this one and say, let's do it, offset it by one. Let's offset this by one, two. Offset that by one, two, three. You can already see it's delaying there. One, two, three, four, and then five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how this. Okay. Oh, right, that's cool. That's fine. Uh, what we can do, we can leave that for now, it's bouncing. Yes, going with the momentum, which is cool. Okay, now what we can do, we come back here, put the controls back on. Let's check out the eyes. What's the second control? Yeah, we want the second one. The second one here, right? Uh, let's do one at a time. So let's go to the eyelids. Okay, upper and lower. Oh, that's it. There are the controls. Select this one too. So let's have a like that and also. Should we give it? Should we give it a sad or angry? What's the angry one? <laughs> All right, well, let's see this. Okay, let's delete the end keys here so it doesn't go back to neutral. Let's see how this works. Yeah. <laughs> Angry, he's got an attitude there, he's coming for someone. See how the eyes can just completely change the attitude of the character. So what we can do is, eyes are so important. And my mentor used to always say the eyes, they never lie, the eyes. Or I got another idea, why don't we do this? Why don't we open it a bit <coughs> and this is where the fun comes in. After you've done all the mechanics and everything, now you can. Well, now you can keep it neutral. We were like sad. Sad is cool. And the lower. Oh, oh. It could be like that, right? So now what we can do is. It could be like that. So let's check this one out. All right. And then now what we can do is, as he comes down, you know, the jaw could slightly come up and then down and then up. Yeah. So you're getting that personality coming through now. It's like he's like, I don't know, tired and sleepy or if you offset the jaw a couple of frames and look. It's like he's breathing. So if we do it one frame, have a look. And then one, two, cut four frames. Sorry, what I'm doing here is just moving the keys back to see how that looks. So that's on zero. Wait. That's on zero. So it's no offset. Couple of frames. It just makes him look like he's breathing. Three frames. 
even three frames is cool. Or two frames, that's cool. And then, then you can just play around. You can be like, all right, I can lift the... That's a bit too much, but you know, always better to push. There, so you've got a little subtle movement there, which is nice. You can just bring this down. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Just a little bit down. So that works nicely. And, uh, and then the last thing we can do is, if we go back to the feet, so bring the, go back to the feet here. We go to the start, select the foot. So we could select this foot. And, you know, we could be like, okay, let's break these joints. And maybe have it come down a bit more abrupt. So if you look now, it's a bit more solid the way it comes down. And maybe, and then maybe here. That's fine, we don't have to worry about that, we can cycle that, that's fine. And this one too, you know, we can come back, foot roll, and like here where it lands, we can break. So you can, what you can do is, at the moment the handles are like this. If you want to break it, you just go to here, break, but then you want to go to keys, non-weight, sorry, key, always get this one wrong, weighted. Weighted tangents lets you control. Some people like it, some people don't. I I, I live swear by it. And then I've got shortcuts for this on my keypad, so it's keypad, sorry, so you can see. But let me just try and play around and see. You see, it gives more of an impact there. See, there's less spacing, so it's more of an impact. And then, then you can just come in and be like, all right, let me clean, let me clean uh, little bits like this up. So, you know, this is all lining up here. You know, you can come here, maybe clean it up if you want. And then that's fine, they look cool. Here, oops, and then this one is the same. So if we go to this one, we could be like, just lining it up. This is just when you're just finessing it. So what is that, 9.61, go to the end and just type it in here, 9.61. And then you can go through each frame and be like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, maybe I want it to be a bit more like that. Oh, sorry, like that. But that's fine. That was an in, in between. That. Then you're just, you're just adding little bits like that. And the other thing you can do is once you have it, let me just save this quickly as polishing. Polishing 001. Now you've got it all working. You might. Oh, this is cool. So, what we can do, we can make it into a sad face. And as we come down, I'll bring it down a bit. So, sad face. Well, that's cool. There's all these little. This rig is amazing. Uh, you can scale the eyes here as well, look. That's cool. We can add a bit of scale as well when he lands, just to give it that little bit of polish. But, again, what we can do here is, so you've got this root control, and as you can see the root control here, it's going straight. So, if we do this, it's going straight. So what we do, we can copy this. This is what we do in games. So we copy this. Some people animate on the spot, some people don't but this is how I do it and then if you want it on the spot you just select the root controller the main one go to the delete all the keys make sure there's keys at the start and literally just paste so you're pasting it in but the value at the end here you just put in a minus here and then make sure that's post to fit it just in case you want to make it move forever and ever now if you notice when it's when you when he walks it's on the spot 
So that's how you get it on the spot, bake it, export it, and then you can put it in game. Now let's coming back here, we we're talking about the eyes. So let's look at this. So you've got scale here. So what we can do, we could be like, right, when it lands, so when he steps, I can key and then maybe slightly big and then back to zero or whatever that start was. All right, that one, copy that over. And then same thing we can do, same thing we can do, copy all these keys and when he steps again here, just paste it. And if you look now, there's a little bit of a squash there, right? Now what we can do, that's a bit too much, but what we can do, we can select the controls and here's the scales. And then we just want a very, very subtle one. It's almost like it's not there, but you know, you can feel it. So if we look now, it's very subtle, isn't it? So we can even move it down a bit more. So it just gives it that much more life. And yeah, there you have it. There you have it. So you've got a little walk cycle there, cartoony. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. You can speed it up if you want. You can come here and, I don't know, go to 50, select all the keys, move it, and then do it. You can do a really slow one. And then you can check out so if I select everything and just snap, and then here you can see where it ends. So it ends here. So if you just type in 30, it should cycle from there then. So if we come now, there might be a Little few glitches there, but you can sort that out. That's not a problem, but then you got like, that's really sad. Right, yeah, you can go in. So if you go, what I normally do is, one of the ways I would do it would be, if I select all the geo, go to the start, duplicate that, control P, control P brings everything out, then group that. So when you press, when you duplicate, it creates another one inside that group. If you press Control P, it comes out. Then you group it. But I can get rid of that because I already got one there. So in order for you to just match and see which one, just keep playing it until it matches. So let's see. So if we go to. So let's go to, let's put this in the layer and just hide it, select everything. And we can be like, okay, everything's cycling, which is good. Okay, this is cycling forward. We can cycle this, we'll cycle the feet. Make sure everything's on cycle, otherwise. Okay, we want the feet to be forward. So we want it to be like this cycle. That's the one we want, okay. And then unhide. And I like to go in the side view. And I used to like to go on wireframe and see until it matches completely. So let's go to 100. See that 59. So we got to 59. That frame looks like everything is matched. Oh, it's not properly matching. All right, let's check out. Okay, let's cycle all of this. That seems to be all right.
Oh, it's this. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, see, that's what it is. Look. Rotate. See, you see little glitches like this. And then what we can do. What's this? 11? Let's put 11 here. Put 11. Put 11 here. Okay, that's. There you go. So that's. So basically, you can just. You just I mean, this is not really slow, but you know, you can play around with the timing. You can bring it back, what have you. But yeah, that's that's basically how you do a walk, and then just by changing the face, the eyes. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about this in the conclusion. But when you just changing the neck shape, the back shape, you know, you know, this is a sad character. So all you can do if you you've got an existing walk here, and if you want to change it, go into the x axis and just start. I don't know. Can you rotate rotate it down? Yeah, look, you can start rotating it like this. You know, you, you're already changing the attitude like that. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? And then you can even have the arms less rolling, have them just forward like this. But yeah, that's uh, that's how you do a simple walk cycle with a cartoon character. So I'll do some more animations with this. I'm really enjoying these pro rigs. Definitely worth uh, subscribing to and go and get in the rigs. They're brilliant. You know, the, the guy who created this rig, he, I've met him. He was an animator. I met him at my graduation at Animation Mentor. And he broke off. He's doing his own thing now and he's made pro rigs. This is brilliant. You know, he's, he was a great animator. I remember one of his lectures at Animation Mentor. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and we'll conclude on this class. So, let's let's go. Congratulations, my friends. You have just finished how to animate a cartoony walk. And now you can go ahead and apply that to other models. Play around, play around with the poses, timing, what have you. The basic fundamentals are there, what you need to do to get a decent walk, and then you can go on from there. So what did we learn? We learned how to do the contact pose, the down pose, the passing pose, and the highest pose, and then back to contact. And then we created that same cycle the other way, the other leg, and that gave us the continuing cycle. We also learned how to, how to do a walk going forward constantly, and also how to make it go on the spot which is very useful when you're doing video games, you know. So I hope you post your projects. I'll be in the discussions. Just post your projects on Skillshare and let's all give each other feedback and all try to improve together as a community. All right, guys, there will be more classes coming. Check out my fundamentals, my uh, principles of animations, a whole lot of courses I got on uh, Skillshare, but there will be more coming in the cartoony series. Now that's my focus. And I will also be looking at lip syncing as well. We're going to be doing a lot more of these kind of uh, classes this year. I also got a YouTube channel where I share a lot more tutorials and I also share my fitness journey and also reviewing animations on TV shows and video games and also book reviews as well as miniature painting, which is part of my hobby as well. In the meantime, happy animating and most importantly, have fun animating. Stay healthy. Love you. See you later.